Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Itzy and today I will be sharing my favorite. So the first thing I want to share is my love for curating playlists lately. I started doing this in college on Spotify, just creating fun playlists for me to study or just get through the days. So my all-time favorite is my wind down playlist, which pairs so nicely with a glass of wine and you can just listen to it after you've had a tough day. It has a lot of like dreamy pop music and it just kind of makes you feel good inside while still slow and just romantic. So then we have my TBT playlist, which is my throwback Thursday playlist. And this playlist I listen to almost daily because I just feel like the 2000s R&B were just like the perfect music era. And then the next one that I have, I will obviously link my Spotify here so you can go through all of them. But my next one is the work from home playlist. That one just has a variety of chill music that will kind of make you feel productive and get you in a good work rhythm. And then the last one that I'll share is the feel good box so that one just has the best music to get you in the best mood and make your heart really happy so it's a really good playlist to get lost in and just to have a dance party in your living room too it will definitely turn your mood around so those will all be linked down below and go ahead and give them a follow and let me know which one your favorite is so my next absolute favorite if you have followed me on instagram and you know that i have been doing a lot of yoga to kind of just get by and help myself feel better and stretch my body and feel good about myself so one youtube channel that has really been helping me is yoga with adrian she literally has yoga for everything and anything i highly recommend her she is amazing and it was the perfect timing during quarantine and now i just can't live without her so there's that and then another thing that i have really been loving is the prequel app i have really enjoyed playing with this because it adds like this really nice dream like filter my favorite is the bling and the disco filter it's just really fun i love playing with apps and this is just my recent obsession another favorite that you probably already know i have been obsessing with is love island we have been binge watching all the seasons and there are like a thousand episodes per season it's a really perfect show to binge watch and it's very mindless so you don't really have to be paying that much attention it has no significance but will kind of get you away from what is actually happening in the world so i really love that and if you are into like trash tv <laughs> then i highly recommend it next i am sharing my favorite book that i have been reading again and it's called don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff by by Richard Carlson. I've been super anxious lately and just really stressed and this was just a really good book to kind of calm me down and remind me that there is no point in stressing over things that we can't control and just really like slowing down and taking things one day at a time. There's just so much goodness in this book and I really definitely enjoy it. So definitely a good pickup if you are on Amazon. So that kind of does it for the whole lifestyle tech favorite. So next I'm going to share kind of like my food favorites because I feel like food and just drinks have really been getting me by during quarantine. So my first will be these sleepy time tea. It is from the brand Celestial Seasoning. I don't take it every night because I don't really have too much trouble sleeping but when I'm feeling kind of anxious or just need to wind down this is a really good tea that will kind of just relax you and zone you out. I really enjoy it and it has no caffeine it's just chamomile spearmint lemongrass some flowers leaves and orange blossoms highly recommend this one another one that i've really been enjoying is this yogi tea the honey lavender stress relief this is more of like a tension tamer this has lavender and honey and it'll just kind of turn your stressful day and help you unwind into a restful night they're essentially very similar just different flavors but i really like them so i definitely recommend recommend these. So next I have my favorite blue diamond almond nut thin. I have been obsessed with these for like ever but just a lot more lately because it's been fun to like snack on them and they taste really good with like tuna or you can put like a little bit of cheese on them and dip them in anything. They are just so good and I like to think that they're pretty healthy because it's like 24 grams of carbs so yeah be careful but they're made out of almonds.
vitamins so they have protein and i just really enjoy them so these are a definite favorite next i am sharing trader joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend i put this on everything it's so good next my favorite bars are these go macro bars and i feel like they're pretty much on the healthier side of bars because so many bars that i had ate just have like so much sugar not enough protein these are organic vegan and gluten free my favorite flavors have to be like the everlasting joy that has coconut and almond butter and chocolate and I just love coconut and chocolate like that combination is delicious I also really love their protein purity which is sunflower and chocolate but basically you can't go wrong with any of their flavors this one is the banana and almond butter which is also really good so next I am jumping into my beauty favorites let's start off with these derma e scalp relief shampoo and conditioner my scalp has been insanely irritated ever since quarantine so i had these lying around and hadn't used them yet and the last time i used them was like three days ago and your scalp just feels so good it feels cool and like has like a little bit of a cooling sensation and what's nice about derma e is that they are vegan cruelty free so super ethical and friendly so really enjoy these if you're also suffering with that i definitely recommend you give it a try it's pretty affordable i will leave them linked below so you can shop them yourself so while we're on the topic of hair my next favorite is this moroccan oil intense hydrating mask it just smells so good it is creamy and your hair is just so nourished right away it works so well and i use it about once a week so if you're looking for a good hair mask moroccan oils intense hydrating mask works amazing so this next mask is summer friday's overtime mask i just love using this i use it maybe once a week and i apply it and it literally feels like you're you just shed your skin and your skin is glowy and just has this really nice finish to it i like to use it especially like after i've had my period and like i've had a lot of breakouts like it's just a really good mask to just kind of bring you back to life another product that i've been loving for dullness is this versed shortcut overnight facial peel go get this right now it is so inexpensive and works like magic it's really gentle just apply a tiny bit at night and then my skin like i wake up with the most glowy smooth radiant skin like it's so good and i use it maybe twice sometimes three times a week depending on like the dullness of my skin this is probably my all-time new favorite product like if i could only live with one product it would be this one and then i have a discount code below where you can save 10 percent off your first orders and speaking of verse they're tinted lip oil and i love the color blossom it really just adds like a really nice tint to your lips while really moisturizing them and it's like i leave it at my desk and it instantly kind of just lifts my mood when i have no makeup on and just have my brows lashes curled and then this little lip tint it is so good and i, I really like it i'm a big fan of lip oils and i'm a big fan of just tinted lips stuff so this one is perfect and next we have a little spf which i am so excited about it's lightweight and i put just enough and i feel like it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily or greasy and it just leaves like this nice sheen look that makeup sits over it very nicely it's called guards up and it's a daily mineral sunscreen with spf 35 i'm gonna keep trying it and keep you all updated but it's such a good one so far so if you're in the hunt for the perfect sunscreen this one i highly recommend and then next we have this texture smoothing cream from coco kind i really have been enjoying this moisturizer the finish is so lightweight while still being very hydrating and i feel like i'm very particular about the moisturizers i use because some are too heavy or some are just way too light and this cream one just goes on so nicely and a little bit goes a long way as you can tell there the smoothing cream just hits different and it's so good and y'all need to go buy it so moving on to a little bit more of like makeup beauty type stuff is this ilia super serum skin tint with spf 40 wow just wow it is a skin tint 
has SPF 40 and hyaluronic acid, which will just moisturize your face. It is buildable. It just leaves this nice dewy finish. Honestly, it's a game changer. So if you're looking for a skin tint, I feel like this is a really good one. Um, definitely help reduce redness and just even out my skin tone while still hydrating my face and allowing it to look plump and refreshed. My next favorite is this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Is this the most perfect shade ever or not? I'm wearing it and it looks so good. This is literally the perfect nude and it smells amazing. I'm obsessed. If you haven't tried this, definitely give it a try. And I'm like not even a fan of lipsticks that much, but it goes on so well and it's not drying. It's actually moisturizing and I think it looks so pretty. So next up, I want to talk about Glossier's new Sky Wash. They're like creamy eyeshadows. The one I am wearing is the color Valley, which is probably my favorite. I also do like the color Echo for a little bit of a darker, smokier eye. I have no technique when it comes to eyeshadow. Literally just applied this spread it over my lid and tapped it in with my finger and it looks so good. I highly recommend this if you are like me and doesn't have time to blend their eyeshadows. You just and then you're good to go. So the next thing I'm gonna share, I've been loving, it's just so convenient, like just pouring acetone or nail polish remover onto a cotton ball. But Olive and June came up with a little sponge concept where it's acetone free nail polish remover and you basically just stick your finger in there and just kind of twist it until your nail polish is removed. I think it's only like eight dollars and it just works really well and it also doesn't mess up your nails because it is acetone free so highly recommend it. So this next product is Kosa's Revealer Concealer which is a brightening creamy concealer. I have struggled to find an amazing concealer for like ever. I kind of just always settle because nothing actually gets rid of my dark circles and I hate the cakey feeling of concealers so I usually always use like Glossier's concealer which is really light and dewy. This one is a very similar except with more coverage and more brightening and it also looks very natural and has like a nice dewy finish which I think pairs nicely with the skin tint and isn't like too dramatic or too cakey and I've just heard amazing things about this brand so I'm happy this is my first product of theirs and I'm very impressed. The next thing that I'm sharing are my new Adida Zuigo sneakers. They are so dreamy. They are actually probably like my first pair of Adidas in a while. I just absolutely love the color and then this kind of reflects a little bit. I feel like they'll look super cute with biker shorts or sweats or your jeans and just like a cute little top and they look just like expensive. I actually got them on sale. I think they might be sold out but I'm going to link them below. So my next favorite are these Rome slippers. I have been wearing them ever since quarantine and they are just the most comfortable slippers I own. The nice thing is that you can wear them outside because they have like this thick platform. Really recommend these. So the last thing I am going to share is the fashion related and I have been living in these tank tops from Urban Outfitters. I definitely had to share. They are ribbed and they fit so comfortable. I got them in this little blush color i got the white color which is really pretty too and then i got this pretty little bluish color i am obsessed over so that pretty much covers today's video i hope you enjoyed my favorites let me know in the comments below if you have any similar favorites and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and don't forget to subscribe i will see you all at my next video